Hi, great moment everyone. Today we are going to uh, share about uh, a major uh, news release on academic which UTM plan to uh, teach English for teachers. Now before that, let me share about me. My name is Ilan Bowen. Uh, you can call me Ilan. Uh, see, I am uh, I, I respect parents teachers, lecturers, trainers. I'm proud to be Malaysians. We have great achievements in uh, several uh, industries. Yet, there's a huge gap uh, in uh, areas such as uh, academic, uh, emotional management, cognitive skills, and uh, uh, English language proficiency and extra. For example, mathematics, science, English ranking, school ranking, children, you know, globally uh, whether they are competent to have a par level and this ranking uh, reason many years we dropped terribly we dropped terribly so uh, refer to our former education minister Tan Sri Muridi and he have said very openly in uh, public news uh, besides a uh, lot of good achievements he found our education system dropping terribly in terms of standards, quality, uh, positionings, and so on. So I'm going to request you, Mr. Jogo, don't make jokes on education. Okay. Be in a reality. We Malaysians now have uh, a long, many uh, what, uh, jokes approach on uh, improving academics. Malay Mail, November 2015 issue. A news release that graduate having English proficiency issue. Now, what UTM has done, and what is the current uh, UTM graduates English standards? Can we verify? And first of all, what is the real standards of your UTM's English lecturers standard? They should be quite critical, such as uh, thousand over medical students, or even after they graduate, they quit from the professions of English language See? and another point shows that uh, for example Dr. Shaiful said lucky you can uh, offer medical study in English so more and more you know, informations are revealed that we should go fully on English See, in terms of uh, huge gap in the teaching quality centers for UTM would be uh, they are ranked uh, around 500 for example the second rank Oxford they are standards in 86.5 uh, National University of Singapore ranking 26 they are level 671.7 and University of Montreal Canada is 46.3 for 130 ranking whereas University Technology Malaysia UTM is 26.3 so the question is, research to look 14.6, teaching is 26, the overall ranking is 500, okay? Uh, so my question again is, do UTM operate fully in English to undertake this project? Why is send us one of the worst level in the world, which is 14.6, okay? Can UTM release detail of any last new few batches of graduates? What is their qualification? What is their employment rate? What is the English prophecy? Can we meet them? Even though the graduates are currently working in uh, global industries and an extra. So there's a lot of question marks have to ask. Our research shows 30% of the university lecturers will fail their own subjects. Okay? They will know about school, school teachers, at least for your reason, teachers will fail their own subjects, mainly from uh, English, physics, biology, and maths, maths, and a number of other subjects. Okay? So, at the end of the day, who will become victims? Graduates in a school, students. So, my sharp advice and piece of compassionate message is do not blame graduates because uh, the teaching industry in Malaysia do not have the capacity and capability which uh, fundamentally the academic uh, uh, skills not been uh, taught before teaching starts. Now, how many of UTM graduates uh, of 
obtain more than 3.9 for age with all other soft skills, for example, communication, presentation skills, uh, English proficiency, uh, meetings, interview projects, and links, working in the groups, teams, and extra. It's a big, uh, but uh, information which, uh, if I have it, then it's good. And uh, my voice could be a Malaysian voice. My message is very simple: Do not blame the guy teacher. Okay? Can I ask a question to your UTM lecturer? Two questions. Can you answer specifically with details? Can human forget? Can students forget? Can you tell natural answer it with passive details? Please take a YouTube video and post. We'd be glad to hear. If it is correct and right, why not? We will accept it as it. UTM might able to undertake this project, which to teach triple T train the trainers, uh, mythology, uh, school teachers, but I can assure you. It cannot be uh, the, the, the resources of trainers cannot be from only your current English teaching professions because the real experts who have served countries many years are almost now retired or they are in a private sectors. You have to call the bigger teams, the real teams, the real experts in English language. I'd like to open a challenge to Chief Minister of the Board and Vice Chancellor of UTM uh, that they may good in several areas, but uh, you do not develop the expertise in uh, uh, education psychology, emotional intelligence, uh, teaching and training psychology to switch on mood neurons before you even teach the English language. Now, for this, I'd like to offer a challenge. You take one region. I take one region. I miss me with my organization called Islam Intelligence Society of Malaysia, Persatuan Kecerdasan Minda Bintang Malaysia, or Intelligence Society of Malaysia, which you can apply all tools, any trainers from whatever level. Okay, you teach English or multiple programs to elaborate, uh, to leverage the uh, teacher teachers level and uh, thus it will impact the students uh, with, uh, studying capability. Now, we will adopt the region with our methods, with our things and we challenge which teacher, which students, which school will perform higher. This should be a non-mandatory uh, project otherwise we will keep on hearing jokes like what you did in the news. I'd like to ask these uh, simple questions to Chief Minister of the Board, that is we, Ahmad Khalid Khondi. What is the current UTM's CGPA passing rates in terms of grouping by 2.5 and below, which is fail, uh, 3 point plus, which is uh, second class, and 3.7 or 3.9 or 4.0 in terms of uh, first class. Now, um, try do not give silly answer that different students have different capability. I can take a challenge to operate, to manage UTM, which we can record 100% 3.9 GPA for graduates in all faculty, in all subjects. First year, second year. Can you make an attempt or effort minimum at least to re rank your UTM university globally before talk about doing research and not teaching English for school and teachers? Please. Among a number of Malay phrase phrases, uh, I like this few. For example, Shulu uh, Rikaki. Uh, in the line, uh, I know uh, another phrase which is really uh, immersed, inspired me all the way through today, which is uh, not So, do not give excuse. We have expert and expertise. We are offering uh, to rank the 500 ranking of University of UTM in the world to be at least less than 200 within 6 years. Two turn of the full 
degree graduates uh, flow of uh, UGM University. Just allow people. Uh, another uh, message to Professor Datu Engineer Dr. Wahid Omar, Vice Chancellor of UTM. Okay. It is a responsible. We prepare process, methodology, principle, law, terms and conditions. Who construct the university? Who produce a module? Who prepare terms to pass and fail? Huh? Scan class and for first class honors, for example. We, academic experts, do not give excuse. Please, do not give any childish message, giving a big list saying that uh, it may not be possible. No, it's not possible, not possible. If you're not capable to do it, not necessarily others can't do. Let the flow operate. Okay? We just need six years, two ten of degrees. We rank UTM to be the world's within probably 200. I'm talking about from graduate, employment, a language prophecy, research, papers, teaching standards, lecturers, lab assistants, management, admin, support, the entire flow of UTM. Because when we say we know some things, I'm talking about the point of mother. When mother said, I know things which really the mother know. It is really mother know. So let us stand up. If you dare to challenge, to re-rank, or you have a heart and mind practically to re-rank UTM University from 500, we will drop last many years. We keep dropping. Some university in Malaysia not even there to participate in ranking in the world. Why? Spending few hundred millions. People's tax money. And who suffered? Who blamed? We blame the graduate back. Please do not blame the graduate. Show me the graduate who failed. Within 50 days, they will pass all subjects. Would UTM take this challenge? Officially? They had a contract. How much? Bring in Malaysia 7 million? 6 years time? Or you more? We draw the terms. We will draw the policy. My objective and goal is re rank Malaysia's academy status, which keep on dropping from the level of university, college, and schools. What is the level of schools? Below 58 out of 80 countries around the world. Are we sending the right students or we really have students which can compete in a global market with other students? In years plus minus, I'm traveling globally and in Malaysia, all the university, college, private, government. Uh, I meet a lot of lecturers who are trying to do their further study like masters and PhD. We meet a lot of uh, medical experts to further their professional study. Now, the issue is they be not being taught the fundamental requirement to study. So let us do the part. It is a pure compassionate place, a message and solution available. You see? Uh, that's about UTM. How about other IPTS? All other 25 hour leadership program plays, available plays for me. You see, uh, I've been traveling to meet a number of lecturers, professors, and uh, Students who pay cash, most of them are loan, you know, debt from PTPTN, uh, you know, uh, and extra. You see, do you think you're gambling with the graduates' uh, life? Let them take loan. Private college university get money. I don't want to say the name. I'm talking about top early university college. They are lecturers saying that uh, you just get pass. You don't necessarily get 4.0. What does that mean? So you want the students to get the money to fill the financial accounts and since you're not capable to teach or not don't have the methodology to make sure the students 
uh, leverage to better higher level of academic in certain subjects or all subjects and you just satisfy saying that uh, uh, not necessary for you to get 4.0 is it is it is it fair is it this ethical uh, on education industry i don't think so i want to give a warning to all private college universities okay if you dare to challenge uh, dear uh, graduates if you are listening to this news you are paying not to have honeymoon year in college university yes i know it's a fun one of three years and four years is okay part of life in university and uh, colleges but remember it's not fun to pay a loan after your three years degrees and masters it's not fun to you know uh, uh, what uh, to get and suffer uh, which is which will make uh, no meaning when you travel and migrate migration points in uh, and this up one is an extra so do not gamble your life with this kind of uh, short minded or uh, less uh, expertise on conscious cognitive skills and education and emotional intelligence which they will just say just take part see to uh, promote college and university you will have very well parents and this one saying that you know they could ever live so and so on but uh, how many of the students still studying or after graduate know in detail that if they qualify a certain CGPA they should and they are able to convert the whole PDP to become scholarship why you should promote this message clearly in all your events there is a lot of factor why college university couldn't commit for the graduate to qualify the highest GPA and education ministry with schools, BIPGs, PTA and so on uh, make an attempt 100% towards to this kind of qualification because you see human are really good in uh, handling effect not cost cost is a root reason or factor all this happening now all the solutions we are giving to you today are based on the effect the effects what students when wrong in discipline students fail students absent from subject and classes students absent from total schools you know and so many other things in the line so when you handle the effect you create what penalty discipline uh, point systems you don't give a full uh, what a school leave certificate uh, you, you punish them is it black record and many things but do you ever think about attempting the cost no in all Malaysia you want to see the commerce okay you write us intelligence society of Malaysia or we call this so I'm the founder president of uh, ISO, Ilan Govanda Gavelu, on Ilan. We are ready to serve and support, to contribute the best uh, modularized uh, process to, to implement what we are saying that we and our children deserve much better possibility and environment. Do not blame children, do not blame graduates. If ever you, college and university, Having a first year students which CGPA required uh, uh, multiple semesters uh, accumulations point system. So if you are first year students or more second year and there is a room to have furthermore few more semesters to increase towards to 3.9. Now we challenge you if your students currently getting 2.5 or lower, okay, now we just need your number, your students, your group and our time. We will tell you the schedules, the methods, the logistic requirement, and within the academic year, the balance two or three year when they graduate, they will obtain 3.9 CGPA. And the funny part in uh, college and university, you see students with the interest, uh, they apply their own faculty degrees. Engineering students, software programming or software engineering students can't do Ask why they don't show up. Medical students they don't get good marks in biology. 
right? And uh, other science, like the Bachelor in Chemistry students, I'm sure about physics, chemicals, chemistry. And uh, psychology students, I'm not sure about emotions, EQ, and IQ. And some of them, I feel very uh, sorry to them. And they point back to lecturers. If ever there is a college university saying that, look, Elon, can you get improve for my this first year they completed? We can't handle, and they will be within 2.5 and over there the second uh, class degree. We take the challenge. Don't challenge us. We need to reach 70 years with you, college universities, that your students, which now first year fail or lower CGPA, will obtain minimum 3.9 CGPA. Take our challenge. Since we are world's first intensive brain training institute, uh, and we do the passion, the same thing we say, indigenous coaching students and parents, we do receive a number of uh, emails, calls, and SMS, and all stuff. Let me share. The question is usually who to blame, where is the error, what happened to the kids or children? Center uh, 1, team 4, 5 in terms of their yeah, academic scores, discipline issues, attitudes, scores, uh, and behavior, and so on. See, let me put very clear parents, teachers, and everyone responsible for children. You see, the students only responsible 1 to 5% if they have any issue which we listed. Okay? Now start with 30% responsible by parents, 20% responsible by teachers, 15% responsible by PTA, parents, teachers, institutions, right, PIDG, 6% by school council board, right? around 24% by education ministry or policy makers, and the balance one, 1 to 5%. So whether they fail, discipline issue, behavior problem, uh, they can't do well in sports, uh, attitudes, and so on. It is a major critical issue not from the students or the children. More than 95% issue is from the third party, the entity, we. The student will enjoy this part. You know why? Because our research and track record many years in several countries uh, confirmed that studying longer hours repeated many times uh, do not guarantee uh, increase uh, increasing marks in your subjects if it is true let's say we call upon students to make five hours revisions repeated uh, additional classes such as tuition and extra if really in a relative uh, practical manner if those additional repeated uh, study will improve their marks, meaning, then every day should be half, half a mark. And I know this first year or second year, all the subjects which they take taken uh, but additional study should give an advantage and benefit of 100 to 150 marks. That happened. No. With our trainings, Children, students, and graduates will enjoy reduced in studying hours, to not repeating even second times if possible, and the quantum leap of marks improvement uh, abilities uh, and capability in uh, non academic such as what adaptability, multitasking, decision making skills, you know, problem solving skills, for example, you know. Uh, character building, command in second language and extra, right? Communication skills will improve uh, in a market manner. Quantum leap, that means from 50 to at least about 85 within three weeks' time.